Hello guys, we are here at a clothes bob store in Totowa, New Jersey. This just closed recently too by the way, I think like uh, a couple weeks ago probably. And I was here before too and I filmed the Babies Are Us here when I first started this channel. And I also filmed the Toys R Us which is uh, down there. And now as you can see there's an Aldi right next to it. They were doing construction when I uh, first came to this place on the left side. Now it's an Aldi, but the Toys R Us looks like they're working inside there. I don't know what's going to become of that place. Yeah, I have no idea. And I filmed the avenue as well over here. Babies R Us. And then there's another store right next to it that looks like it's closed. I'll go. Uh, I'll check around the shipping receiving area of this Bob store too. Let's check it out. Um, I think Bob store was um, a sporting goods store, maybe? I'm not sure, I forgot. Could be wrong. Here it says, uh, stores closed. Please visit us at our Springfield, New Jersey location or bobstore.com. See, delivery is around the back. So these are the entrance doors. Wow, it's, they cleared, they cleaned this up place out fast there's nothing in there there's they already have a construction permit notice here building plumbing electrical fire protection these are the exit doors wow there's already damage done to this place right here the glass is broken. I wonder what happened there. <laughs> How did that happen? The wall's a little bit messed up too. They probably most likely had posters here or something. Um, a census scheme. I guess this is for uh, alarm or security. Yeah. See if you can see more of this inside of this place. Oh, there we go. Man, I forgot what type of store this was. I think maybe it was a clothing store or a sporting goods store. But yeah, there's a. Uh there's nothing in here. At least they have the counter, register counters here. And no registers, they, they took those off too. And this looks like the customer service area right here. Some lights are on. We also see the mirrors on the, um, the poles hanging. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah, I think this was a clothing store. This is actually a, kind of a big store. Hmm. I guess another clothing store can replace this place. It's quite sad to see these stores all close up like this. And now somebody else else has to take take it up, or it takes a long time for somebody to uh, take interest in this place, or they're just not interested. I don't know. Yeah, I filmed a lot of abandoned closed places and it's just sad sad seeing um especially the older buildings too stores like ames and bradley's caldor they've been there for like 20 years nothing has happened to it but i mean in a good way for me i get to film these places and you know relive the memories of, of the stores and uh 
show it to you guys as well and it's also fun for me that's why I started doing this channel this was the babies or us god the windows are dirty I hear an alarm Yeah, uh, these are the entrance doors and that's the exit doors right there. Still the same, nothing has changed. Exactly the same thing that happened when I came here. There was nothing, it was just like this. I think this, the Toys R Us and Babies, Babies R Us closed uh, four years ago here. Or five years ago. Here's a sign, Babies R Us Avenue. And the Hobby Lobby, Julia Expo, Pietrick Urgent Care. This is the Totoa Square. I'm thinking Toys R Us sign was up there and they uh, covered it. Actually, never mind, it's right there. <laughs> Toys R Us is over there in the Aldi. So it's probably be Bob's store, most likely, up there. Alright guys, let's go around. I don't know what this is. It's probably not a store. Oh wait, it is. My bad. Okay, you see Applebee's right here. I went to this Applebee's a long time ago. I don't know, probably like 10, 15 years ago. I remember that. There's a Harmon, Cosmetic Health and Beauty Care. A pizza shop, Linwood, pediatric, Kinder Pediatric Urgent Care, a jewelry expo. And this was, uh, oh, it was a Midas. Temporarily closed. Please see us at a Hawthorne location. So this was a Midas. Oh, they had the signs here too. Uh, The install service for repair. <laughs> we support Totowa Police. Yep, Totowa, New Jersey, guys. Let's go around. And then we got another restaurant, uh, Sopranos Pizza Restaurant. That's pretty cool, Sopranos. We got Sushi Fu, Asian Bistro. This is another uh, little uh, shopping strip here. Jackson Hewitt, Tax Service, Army Navy, or Airsoft. Oh, they got an Airsoft store here? That's pretty cool. Wow, oh, somebody broke the window here. This is the Midas, uh, it's where they fix the cars, probably. Wow. Alright, let's go around, guys. Oh, they got security over here. There's a security guard, uh, Security uh, car over here, Allied Universal. That guy, there was a guy in the car on the right. I don't know if he's a security guard. Maybe he is, but <sighs> I'm just gonna get out of here and go. I'm just gonna, I mean, get out of here. I'm just gonna check this place out and uh, be out and about. I'm like, so I guess this was part of Bob's store. I cannot see anything. This is where the, um, 
I guess this is where the compactor was right here with the dumpster. No longer here. The shipping and receiving docks. This is where the trucks would line up. I think this is a uh, part of Baby's R Us. Yeah. I didn't film this part, I think, before when I first came here. This is probably one of Bob's store's back doors. One of the garbage. Oh, here we go. This is Bob's store's uh, shipping receiving area. So this is where the truck would line up here. And this is the the dock. This is Bob's. <laughs> and uh, here's the door to get inside. And the doorbell still works. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And guys, I think that about wraps it up for this video. Um, I kind of did want to go to uh, the White Castle in Huawei, but it's like an hour drive. And also wanted to check out um, one other place in Avenel. Uh, the hell was it? I forgot. Oh, the quick check. I don't know if the quick check is still there or not. So. But the White Castle is, uh, there's some, there's some graffiti on there. I already saw it. So. It's just like the Burger King that I filmed over there. There was graffiti already on the building when the place just recently closed down. So it didn't take too long <laughs> for vandalism to occur. So. Alright guys. Um, that does it for this video. Um, I think I'm going to try to do another video. If not, then I'm going to go ahead and go back to work. Go start work, I mean. So, see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.